Most people afford the luxury of bliss, never knowing the bad stuff that dwells in the negative space of their tedious lives, just out of sight. As long as the clock stays punched and indulgences are satisfied, then all is well. Reality stays at bay. The luxury of bliss. But when an entire city becomes a literal hell on earth, bliss goes right out the window. 1023 dispatch arriving on site near Central Street. In my line of work, you get used to seeing the horrors that people are capable of. I've got multiple 1033s in progress. It's a goddamn war zone down there. The murders and mystery become mundane. Eventually, every day boils down to a choice. Crack the case, or let it crack you. A while ago, when prospects were brighter, I considered myself pretty lucky. A hotshot detective for the RPD, drunk off my own convictions. Two out of nine, I can't tell who's who down there. Too much activity, over. Eventually, I'd come to consider that lucky meant making it through the day without reaching for a bottle or a bullet. Fast forward to tonight and I'm firing bullet after bullet into a guy who seemed like he didn't mind that half his face has been chewed off. All while drowning in a downpour of rain instead of a bottle of single malt. Despite her growing scarcity over the years, I was convinced Lady Luck and I still had some kind of working relationship going on. <laughs> After tonight, I was convinced she was just another Jack Street harlot. I was fresh out of cash. Jesus! The city was a wailing crescendo of sirens, gunfire, and death. I felt no toy. Raccoon turning into a necropolis wasn't the start of things. I was already past the point of no return. Three years ago, I'd been on a case that nearly killed me. Investigating a fanatic with a god complex and a personal army. A cult that was ready to die for a doomsday prophecy. I went after him. Infiltrated one of the worst right-wing cults that made Waco look like the Partridge family. In the end, the guy had something worse than an end-of-day spook story. Evidence that Umbrella Pharmaceuticals, the owners of this town, blame God with viral weaponry. And the RPD was in on it. But it all went south. My leads turned to ash. And I was given a choice. Keep my mouth shut or take my chances with the wolves. I threw down my badge and never looked back. Time passed. The case was buried. Anyone involved that wasn't bribed had left town or ended up at the bottom of a river. I moved on. Took a gig as an investigative gun for hire at us on two-bit joint, hoping I wasn't worth the price of a corporate finance hit. Things seemed quiet. Then came the cannibal murders and the whole stars fiasco out in the woods, and I was back to looking over my shoulder again. Paranoia ate me like a cancer for weeks. The stars who survived reported viral monstrosities at an illegal genetic research facility hidden away in the hills of the Arclay Forest. With Umbrella's name and signature logo all over it. I should have felt justified, but I felt nothing. Eagle Nest Investigative Solutions, 
I already spent enough time kicking myself over the name. Aside from that, it was the only place I had left that wasn't in bed with Umbrella. The truth is, I was just a few months shy from leaving altogether. Hospitals had been overrun since yesterday, and the RPD would be next if it wasn't already. I needed to grab what I could and get the hell out of Dodge. At least the rioters hadn't found a reason to torch the place yet. Tremors of pain shot through my arm. Each jolt felt like a stark reminder Shit. that I was probably dead already. The Magnum had been a gift. An old friend's attempt at making my party with the RPD a little more bearable. I could kiss him, assuming he was still alive. The bandages weren't much, but paired with the unfinished bottle of scotch, it would do for now. Bloodied arm or not, I still had loose ends to take care of. The chaos outside had only sped up an already ticking time bomb. If I was a carrier for whatever was infecting Raccoon, I could eat a bullet and finish the job myself when the time came. As for Umbrella, they buried my career. But there was no way they could bury something this big. I could only hope they'd reap what they had sown. Oh no. I didn't have much time. 